It's the nature of the mind to search for greater happiness. It's the nature of the mind to search, to be out of boundaries. What's the larger picture? What's, where can I get more? That's the fundamental nature of what drives the movement of the mind. The mind doesn't move just randomly. It has a purpose. And that purposeful movement of the mind towards greater wholeness is what takes the mind within. Because this experience of deep silence, of peace, is very rewarding to the mind. There's no boundaries there. You're completely whole. You're completely safe. You're completely full. And having had that subjective experience, the mind wants to go there again. This is what brain integration is fundamentally. It's bringing that brain pattern and associated experience during meditation practice where you're transcending, you're not involved with the outside world, but you're experiencing your universal nature. And having that when you're in the boardroom, having that when you're on the golf course. This is sharpening the knife. This is changing that character of, of awareness that you bring to everything that you do. Coherence during transcendental meditation, it's correlated with that experience of inner silence called transcendental consciousness. Hoffman reflex, it's a measure of flexibility and um, efficiency of motor functioning, higher creativity. Higher creativity, this is important because you have to think out of the box to be creative. <laughs> Thinking out of the box is not being tied to the problem space. It's being able to be playful. And when you have this experience of inner transcendence, that's completely outside of the box. It gives you a new place to look at whatever you're doing, whatever is your problem, and, or that challenge that you have in your workplace. And with brain integration, you have this vertical level of the mind available. When you need to, you can go to this silent, expanded part of you. And then you go out to very focused attention to actually make it happen. Transcending leads to higher psychological development. This is work that was done with Lovinger's sentence completion test of ego development. It's the gold standard measure of ego development. This is people who practiced transcendental meditation at my university as students, and then they graduated, and we caught them 10 years later. And this is what changed on their level of ego development, that's self-awareness over that time. These were three control universities, which are also in the Midwest. And we see very little change in ego development, and that's typically what's reported. Because for ego development to grow, you have to have more expanded experiences. You can have more experiences of change and more experiences of what you usually experience. Transcending, it leads to higher brain integration. This is some research we did with high school students, American University. They came in, we measured their brain functioning, again, during tasks, and we calculated the quantity, quantitative measure of brain integration. Then we randomly assigned them to be trained in either transcendental meditation or delayed start. That's a pretest. Post-test was three months later. What happens in college three months after the beginning of a semester? It's the end of the semester. And the end of the semester, huge stress. They're staying up late, eating bad food, no exercise. All of these things break down brain integration. That's what we see in the delayed start group. This is, their drop is actually statistically significant. That's why after most finals, college students need to take a week or two to recover. This was a brain integration in the meditating students. This is a brain integration in the midst of a very stressful, very challenging time. And this process of transcending, going to activity, transcending, going to activity, we see has changed the way their brain is functioning. And so they can actually deal with the challenge, not as a stress. Under challenge, the whole brain is functioning more effectively. We love challenge. That's why you're in business. Because you can drive your level of challenge. And that's where you grow. When the challenge gets too high, the brain downshifts. And so this challenge stress line is not a hard line, it's based on perception. When you think that, oh no, I can't do this, the brain downshifts. When you're getting this growing experience of silence, of self-awareness inside, you just find you're more resilient. You just find you have a more stable basis. You can handle greater challenge without it becoming stress. And so your life is transformed 
rather than going to work and dealing with all the problems, you're going to work to have fun with these challenges. Oh boy, what's going to be waiting for me at work? Because you know you can deal with it. You know you have access to inner creativity.